Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planet, my name is The Lady and this is the third part of Fishing Planet Learning a Lake. Uh, in the previous video we talked about structure and the importance of it and where to find fish and today's topic is the P in SPOT or SPOT technique which stands for preference. Now preference is quite broad. Uh, preference is time of day type of weather, type of lure, uh, type of uh, bait, and then also structures, uh, prefer structures. So what again is the best and most info that you can get is the fish species. Uh, I've been over this a couple of times already in previous uh, two videos, uh, but I am going after it again because this is where you get your info or your uh, intel from. Uh, just click on the different fish species, for instance here bluegill, here it says that the fish mostly feed on aquatic insects and fish. Uh, if we go to uh, bovin, here it says that they are ambush predators and usually come out at the shallows of night to prey on fish. So here you get for instance uh, that they are ambush fish, so this will indicate where to find them actually, so you need structures. Also that they like to come out to the shallows, so you can fish them a bit up high in the water and that they start to become active in late afternoon and evening. So that is a good thing to know. So um, let's take this fish uh, as an example and for the preference technique. So what we got here is preferred baits so are shiners, large minnows, and small cup bait. We know that they are more into the shallow water and that they will become more active uh, when it gets later in the day. So let's take that info and let's go our, to our inventory. So small cup bait is what they prefer next to small minnows. Uh, we should not be fishing them at max depth. We should be fishing them as I said more in the shallow waters. So 90 centimeters, let's start with that one. I have a hook size 2 odd currently on it. Uh, say you're not sure about what type of hook, let's start with a 1 odd first. We do know that this particular fish, the bowfin, uh, is usually between 2 and 6 kilograms. Sometimes they can get huge, up to 9 kilograms in total. So that would go for a trophy, but the common one is between 2 and 6. So that already gives you an indication uh, that our hook should not be too small, uh, but also do not go fishing with, uh, say, a 9 knot or a 10 knot. Uh, of course, uh, a fish that only goes to 9 kilograms, uh, the mouth is not that big. So, alright. Um, let's go back to our inventory. One odd. Uh, small cut bait, if that does not pan out, we can always switch to small minutes. Alright, now let's look at the time of day, weather forecast. So we are currently at 16.36, so uh, half past five in the afternoon. And we were given the info that they loved to ambush. So what are good places to ambush? Of course here, lily pads. Having that said though, I feel that here Bovin would have far more covering to do his ambush on and then over there as well. So let's try over here first. Now there is a small inlet in between these reeds over there. So we are going to cast... Let's try over there. I actually have to lower my drag. Uh, and... Right, 37, let's put it on 30, and let's see if we get any type of action. I do have to warn you guys that I actually brought a set with me, and this is the Nero 360. Ooh, and we already got some action over there. Nero 360, and I am not confident that it can handle a trophy bowfin. Uh, this one has a reel on it. Ooh, bait was even lost. This one has a reel on it that can handle <clears throat> up to 4 kilograms, and then my line is even uh, less. So when we are to hook trophy bowfin, 
could be the um, other spoiling I'm uh, getting spooled. Or that I simply have to break my line because it, it would damage my gear too much. Um, but we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. So we did already had a couple of nibbles at 30 centimeters, so that is a good start. Now let's see, let's see what we can get. Uh, the current is bringing the bobber towards us and I know that it is a bit hard to see but I am getting slack on the line as you guys can see. The line starts to curve a bit so every once in a while I'll reel in a bit of the line. So we do not lose a fish again. We had a nibble there, so now I am not going to reel in some line, otherwise it might scare the fish away. But I will angle my rod just a little bit. Or we can walk a bit backwards. Come on, take it. Take the bait, you fish. There we go. And we got a fish on. Now let's see what we hooked over here. It is doing some splashing and some more. And there we go. We got our first bowfin, 1.3 kilograms. So this is a small one, but still it panned out. So preferences, it is uh, like bringing puzzle pieces together and uh, create a puzzle. So what we did is we took the info that was given here about the weight size that determined our size of the hook, the preferred baits that pr um, determined what type of bait that we were going to use. We took out from the info that they preferred the shallow, so that means the leader depth that we set it in and then the time of day also determined when we were going to fish and what time. So this type of info is what you get when you click on a fish. Now it does not always happen. For instance here, it says chain pike can grow up to 60 centimeters, 24 inches in length and weighs around 2 kilograms. Uh, it feeds almost exclusively on other fish, so we do get a size, a 2 kilograms, so uh, number 1 hook will already suffice, uh, 1 odd would suffice as well, 2 odd, uh, somewhat being the max. Uh, we get some preferred baits and preferred lures, however it does not state any time of day or what type of weather so that is something that you would have to find out on your own then so what can you do to do that well just follow the weather forecast and uh, just look at the graph where it says what the peak hours are that is one of the most important stuff that you could go after if it does not state in uh, in the info what times you need to go after this fish then use this as your guide. Here you can see we got two peak times, one starting at say 6 a.m. in the morning and then another one starting at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So let's try with the chain pike. Now in our previous movie we already managed to uh, catch one here, a pike challenge. And this is another clue. Why would they name a pack pike challenge if it was not for the pike? And what would they call this one catfish heaven? Hey. So yeah, just try and find those uh, puzzle pieces and fit them together. So here we go. Uh, in a previous movie, we managed to hook a pike over there when float fishing. Now let's try lure fishing. We uh, already know that when we go here to fish species, click on chain pike. It says prefer lures, casting spoons, medium spoons, shads and crankbaits. So let's grab our spinning rod let's put a medium spoon on it one odd should be enough fish could only go up to two kilograms so one hood, odd hook uh, is, is fine by that we are going to cast that and what i want to do is because we caught a chain over here earlier in between that square of four that trees cast a bit further out behind the trees and then we can make a straight retrieval just like so all the way up there and we could actually, we actually have uh, a longer distance for our lure to cover and to get the chain, uh, chain pike interested. So I'm doing a 
stop and go. Speed on uh, three. Let's see if we can do one of them. There we go. Ooh, I missed that one. There was a little nibble over there. My uh, alert indicator stayed up, but here we go. We got a fish on. Uh, let's reel this one in. Let's see what we hooked. And it is giving us a lovely jump, and that is very typical for pike jumping up that high. And there we go. Uh, it is not a chain pike. It is, however, a grass pickerel, which is family of the pike. Pickerels in general are just a bit smaller sized pike. Um, some folks are nitpicking about pike and pickerel, two different fish. Uh, for me, pike is pike and pickerel is pike. But yeah, that is, uh, that is how you do it. So sometimes you're not given every piece of the puzzle, but then you just see uh, what can help you out uh, as extra info that you cannot gather from this so like I said again weather forecast let's look at what the peak hours are uh, over here sometimes this gives you uh, some info as well I know though uh, guys currently we are in patch 0.7.9 this is still not fixed uh, here we would have the option for more info as you can see the sentence is cut off right in the middle here right next to not sunken lock you'll find dot, dot, dot. this will get fixed um, and then this info will also give you some more uh, intel in where to go for the fish but yeah in general when uh, they name a pack like something like pie challenge uh, catfish heaven uh, whatsoever those should be alarm bells for you going off. Hey, this is uh, might be a great spot to go off the catfish or to go off the pike and uh, stuff like that. So preferences. Um, I could go on for hours and hours on end uh, because it is quite huge as to what you need uh, for lures, what you need for baits, uh, time of day, uh, the structure where the fish might hang out uh, info that you guys can get it but i think i've covered them all uh, i think you guys can grasp at what i'm uh, trying to say uh, what i'm trying to pass on to you guys so uh with that i know that this is not a full detail on every fish what every fish prefers and whatnot but that is the whole thing for you guys to learn and start learning on your own instead of me spitting out just every single uh, info and detail about every fish out there on every lake and on every pack and so on and so forth so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um in the next one we will be covering observations and uh that will be fourth part then in learning a lake i hope that you guys like this video do not forget forget to give it a thumbs up if you did uh, feel free to leave any comments below uh, also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want to uh, watch me fish live uh, playing fishing planet live please uh, in the details below you will find the link to my twitch channel it's twitch.tv slash lady of games the o being a zero mind you guys all right so that's it for now i'm going to wish you guys happy days tight lines and i'll see you later bye bye